Hi, this is Jim Janesey. I'm going to show you how to do a little sound recording to narrate slides, that is PowerPoint slides. So the first thing I'm going to do is to show you the setup I've got here, which includes the headset that I'm using and the microphone. And then I'm going to show you what the screen looks like when I use PowerPoint 2003 to do the sound narration. Okay, what you're looking at now is the Logitech Clear Chat Comfort USB headset. This is a boom mic that when you stick it on your face that hangs right in front of your mouth and the connector for this is a USB connector. I find this causes much less trouble than the uh, typical kind of pin plugs so I would recommend this sort of a microphone if you're going to be buying one. And this is what it looks like when you're wearing this. I'll turn sideways so perhaps you can see the microphone a little bit better. You see the fact that this microphone stays in front of your face, in front of your mouth, is really very handy so you can move around a bit and you don't have to worry about the sound volume uh, varying in an uncontrolled way as you would have to if you had a microphone on a stand. If you're using a uh, microphone in your laptop, then you want to keep your face a consistent distance away from the microphone as you do this sound narration for PowerPoint. In this very short video, I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint to do audio narrations of your slides. What you're looking at right now is the slide set that I have used in the example that follows. I've already set the slides up and if I go use the slide sorter to go through them, this is what I'm going to see. If I go to the normal view, then I'll see the slides in this manner. And if I flip forward in the slides, these are the slides that you're going to recognize from the finished production. Notice here the same slide repeats and I'm going to be talking about in this case the person in this red circle. When I go forward again the circle shifts. It's just a graphic circle applied to the image. And the same thing I'll be telling you about the character that's circled. So let's start doing the narration recording. I think it's kind of handy to start in the slide sorter so you know that you're starting on the first one. You find the slideshow button and of course I'm using PowerPoint 2003 here. The functions will be the same but it will be located in a different place on 2007. So click the slideshow and it's the record narration. When you click on that what's going to happen is you'll get a little screen like this that lets you set the microphone level and if you wanted to change the quality of the recording. When you set the microphone level, what will happen as you test talk through this thing, you'll see that the green and the yellow and the red bars appear. What you want the volume to be is the green and possibly the yellow but not the red. So this microphone is adjusted just about properly. I think it will record quite well. What I'm using by the way is a Logitech Clear Chat. Comfort USB headset. This costs about $30 at Amazon and it has a boom microphone which comes around and is always in front of your mouth. So this is a very handy kind of a microphone to use for this purpose. It is a whole lot less fussy than an, an analog mic or a mic that stands on a, on a little stand on your desk and then you have to worry about your head being close enough to it and a, a, the right distance for the right volume. So I actually prefer this, but if you have a laptop you can do this same kind of recording through the microphone that might be built in. Well this is working properly, I'm going to cancel. And if I wanted to look at the quality, by default PowerPoint is going to record at 11 kilohertz, which means it's not a very high resolution rate in terms of audio, and 8-bit which is very low quality mono. This is about as low as you can go in terms of sound quality, but it's adequate for the purpose of narrating slides. This keeps the file size small. The uh, sound is going to be stored as a file associated with every individual slide, so it does add to the bulk of this file. This uh, little file, for example, the 10 minute presentation that you'll see following this one, I recorded it at exactly these settings. The slide set is about uh, half a megabyte in size before I put the sound in. It's about 10 megabytes inside, in size once I finish the sound. If you make the, the sound quality greater, that is by choosing this drop-down 
and selecting something else, a higher bit rate, or more precision in the recording, you can make the file get quite large, but the sound quality is not going to do you very much good because we're just recording voice here, and voice is adequate even at this very low default level. So I would suggest leaving it at 11 kilohertz 8-bit mono. Now, when I click the OK button here, it will present the first slide to me and everything that I say will be captured. So let's do that. Now, I'm actually recording the audio that matches this slide. The only thing you're going to have to watch out for is you need to leave about three seconds of silence after you finish talking about this slide. If you don't, some of the tail end of what you say is going to get chopped off. So I'm going to stop for three seconds and then I'm going to advance the slide by pushing the mouse button. And now the next slide comes up and I can start talking about this one. And I might say whatever I'm going to say. You'll notice in the sample slides that I give you, I try and steer you away from just putting words on the screen. This is just a preface screen and I'm not going to read these words to you. If you do use words, keep them to a minimum and for crying out loud, don't just read them to people when you present the slideshow. That's not what this is all about. So I'll give you three seconds here again. And I advance to the next. This might be the actual first screen of a slide presentation. And if you look at the slide presentation that follows this, you'll see exactly what I'm doing with this demonstration.